So John, we're going to start with the getting to know John Nettleton, comprised of 25 quickfire questions. All right. So let's start with question number one. What is your full name given at birth? Ah, my full name, John Slade Nettleton. When is your birthday and the year of your birth? My birthday is the 5th of February, 1929. As a child, where were you born and raised? Ah, in South London, um, a part of South London called Sydenham. And uh, that's where I was born. And uh, that stayed until the war. If any... How many brothers or sisters did you have growing up? Oh, uh, my brother was seven years older. What is your earliest memory of going to the cinema or the theatre? Well, that was going to see a, a, a film with Boris Karloff in, which my brother took me to see. <laughs> he took me to see a film called the old dark house with Charles Lawton and Boris Karloff <laughs> and I got very scared in that it was very naughty of him I think he got into trouble for that <laughs> um, but that uh, that was a horror film um, then later uh, he took me to see Midsummer Night's Dream at the old Vic uh, this was when I was about uh, eight I think um, and uh, which was very good of him. And he, he was interested in, in uh, seeing plays. Growing up, did you have a favourite actor or actress whose work you really admired? Um, yes, I think I, I, I really admired Ralph Richardson. And later on in my career, when I was an actor properly, uh, I worked with him. I was delighted to be on the stage with him. He was a great actor, Ralph Richardson. Was there an actual event or trigger that first prompted you to seriously consider acting as a profession? And how old were you at the time? Well, I think it was when I was at school. Uh, I was in a school play of, of a Shakespeare play called uh, Julius Caesar. And, uh, of course, I, I, I had to wait quite a while. But um, I, uh, I think it was about 18, no, about 16 years of age, um, I decided that I was going to have a go at being an actor. Did you ever attend a stage school or audition, study or formally train to be an actor anywhere? Yes, I did. Uh, I went to RADA, which is the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, and I spent two years there, um, which I think was a very good thing to have done. Even before you began your acting career, or maybe when you were between roles at any point in your career, what other jobs have you done? Ah, well there I was, I went to RADA when I was 21, and so I finished at RADA when I was 23, and I was lucky enough to go to Stratford-on-Avon and join the Shakespeare Theatre there, and I spent the whole of 1952 at Stratford, playing very, very small parts, but I was paid five pounds a week, which was quite tough. Um, and so, uh, I, in order to make a little money, more than that, uh, I went to a local hotel and uh, I, I worked in the kitchen there sometimes and uh, made a little extra money. But uh, it was a good thing to do at a, a young age, I think. What was your first ever paid acting performance? i.e. your professional debut, and how old were you? Ah, well, I finished at RADA when I, when I was 22, and uh, I thought I was going to go to Stratford, but in fact they didn't want me, first of all, and I looked about me, 
and at the Christmas 1951 I went to the uh, pantomime of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and I was paid five shillings a week for that. But then after that I went to, to Stratford uh, in, uh, in the Royal Shakespeare Company and I spent two years there. Can you remember how old you were when someone first ever asked you for your autograph? <laughs> oh, um, well at Stratford-on-Avon there was always a lot of people out at the stage door uh, and of course the stars in, in that year, Ralph Richardson and John Gielgud was there and uh, people liked that. But on the other hand, uh, they always asked for um, uh, autograph as well for the young actors who were just beginning acting, which was quite funny. At any point in your life or career, have you ever been starstruck when meeting someone famous? And have you ever asked anyone for their autograph? <clears throat> yes, of course, I, I, I had the good fortune of uh, being on the stage with Ralph Richardson. Uh, an actor I've always liked very much. John Gielgud was directing. Uh, Anthony Quayle well, was the chief actor there in 1952. Um, so I was very lucky to, to meet some very good actors. Throughout your career, were you ever one for collecting any memorabilia? And what, if anything, do you still have in your possession today? No, I don't think I did ever get, a, get any um, thing like that at all. To perform in, what would you choose? Theatre, television, cinema or radio? Ah, uh, well, when I started acting, of course, there, there were, weren't any television sets anywhere. So, of course, I started as a stage actor all the time. And is stage your preference? Well, I really w prefer a, a good, a good script, but uh, I think, to be honest, I've always preferred stage. Which of your parts, performances, or characters would you say people remember you for the most? Well, I think television, of course, is seen by so many people. Um, and I suppose uh, something I did a few years ago was Yes Minister, and uh, that seemed to go down well with people. And I enjoyed it too. Whether it be for what you did on stage or screen, can you name any of your own individual performance or performances that you are personally the most proudest of? Well, I've been lucky in that I've enjoyed um, a lot of different parts uh, and I've done quite a lot of Shakespeare and I've always enjoyed that. One of the advantages of acting is that one, one can travel to very interesting places um, and I've been lucky in that, in that respect. In uh, America and Canada I played in, in As You Like It and I played Jaquiz, uh, which is a lovely part. and. Uh, that's one I remember with great pleasure. Uh, um, I certainly enjoy, enjoyed doing uh, yes, yes Minister, and that went on for some years. Um, but uh, I've been very lucky in, in, in the casting. Is there a part or a role that you still remember today that you auditioned for or really wanted but you never got? Oh, um, no, I think I've always got things that I wanted to do. Was there ever a part or an acting role that, for whatever reason, you had to turn down, but then later regretted your decision? Maybe you were working on another production at the time? Um, no, I, I can't remember any, any, anything having that happen to me. Can you name a co-star that you liked working with the most and maybe any that you had a tougher time working with? Um, 
No, I, I can't think about them. Uh, tough people, really. Um, a lot of people that I enjoy being with, um, Ralph Richardson, for instance, although I, I've only played small parts, he was he was the star at Stratford. Uh, but uh, I enjoyed being on stage with him, and I think that apl applies to quite a lot of, of good actors. So rather than asking you who your favourite director was or is, I'll ask it in a slightly different way. Yeah. Outline what a director needs to do to get the best performance out of John Nettleton. Oh, well, that's interesting. Um, I think they'd have to be polite and kindly uh, and uh, not bullies. Just occasionally one has made bully of a director and I'd rather not have bullies telling me how to act. You are hosting an intimate dinner party and you're able to invite three guests to come along. Alive or dead, in the profession, outside of the profession, who would you invite to the dinner party? <laughs> well, I would th think of three actors that I'd really love to, to see again. And they're all gone now. Noel Coward has died, of course. Someone who I did like very much. Uh, I never worked with him, but I got to know him in, in New York. Uh, and uh, we got on very well together. And uh, I was very lucky uh, to spend time with him. A great actor and a great director. And just a, a, a marvellous person to know. Uh, Leo McKern who was an Australian actor, very, very good actor. Uh, he is no longer with us, although his daughter is, is a great friend of ours. Um, otherwise, it was Nigel Hawthorne, who I worked with in America uh, over a long time. And then uh, Yes Minister was, was the star of that. And uh, I enjoyed being with him, just being a marvellous actor. So can we make, make do with those? Perfect. So we're going for Noel Coward, Nigel Hawthorne and Leo McKern. Yeah. Fantastic. If you could relive one moment from your career once again, what would you choose? Ah, oh, that's difficult. Uh, I think I would just enjoy working on stage with my wife. We've been very lucky to have several plays that we've been together in in Singapore and all over Britain uh, and France um, it's been a joy to be with her that I think is what I would like to think about looking back over your career do you have any regrets if you had your time again would you have done anything differently or made any different choices at any stage um, well, I suppose there are some jobs that we like more than others, but I've been very lucky. I've, I've, uh, I've been in good plays on the whole. A lot of Shakespeare. I've, I've loved being with Shakespeare. Uh, and I've met some very, very nice actors, nice directors, nice audiences. Um, I've been very lucky. So no regrets? No regrets at all. No. Fantastic. Tell us something about you or your career that most people would not already know. Well, I don't know why they should want to know, um, but if they did want to know, I would tell them that I was very lucky to have a very happy marriage. Uh, three daughters and five grand granddaughters. Uh, and they're a great part of my life. And... Uh, it's something that is very important for me. So finish the sentence. Whatever happened to the actor John Nettleton? <laughs> well, uh, the actor John Nettleton really stopped acting uh, about uh, 10 or 12 years ago. I think it was time to stop. Uh, and uh, I live with my wife. I live with the family quite near me. And... Uh, that, that's what happens to me now. Uh, I live quietly, 
uh, and enjoy my life.